What's up, everybody? Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining us this Monday morning inside the Cryptocurrency Alliance Bitcoin Breakdown Series. I'm Dave Rodriguez, one of the head traders inside the Alliance, and we got some, we got some, a uh, couple of cool things to talk about you guys today. We had some news over the weekend. Uh, we had some things happen late Friday. We had some activity yesterday and Saturday in the markets. Looks like Bitcoin's, uh, Bitcoin's taken off. The, the couple of the patterns that we talked about over the, the last week are starting to play out. More and more things are starting to come into fruition, guys. More of the patterns that we drew are starting to play out. If this is your first time coming to the video, um, please watch the rest of them so you can kind of catch up to where we're at. This is the seventh video, so there's a lot of information gathering up to this point. Those of you who are coming back for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time, thank you guys for taking the 10, 15 minutes out of your day to join us here inside the Bitcoin Breakdown. Um, now, inside these videos, guys, as I said, we are going to be teaching you guys how to invest inside cryptocurrencies, whether you are brand new and have never taken a trade or whether you are more uh, experienced trader, somebody who's just looking for some added confirmation to the current market analysis that you probably already have drawn up. Now, this Bitcoin breakdown videos are here to educate you and let you follow alongside of the traders here inside the Bitcoin um community. Excuse me, guys. At the end of the day, guys, if you're anything like me, you want to have fun, you want to learn every day in a way that, that, that is, you know, good for you to learn hands-on like I do, and you want to make money as a result, guys. If you're focused and you're, and you're going after your goals and you're studying every day, you're going to start to make good moves. You're going to start to make better trades. And in the end, you're going to make more and more money. So what we're building here inside the Alliance, guys, is something you want to be a part of because it's a very strong community of like-minded traders sharing trades, sharing announcements that they've heard throughout their network of information, and sharing analysis, guys, on where we think the market will go next. Now, we're here, we're here to provide you guys those tools, provide you guys as much information as we can to help you make those educated decisions. Because remember, guys, we're not calling signals here inside the Alliance, inside the Bitcoin Breakdown series. We're providing information and analysis. It's up to you to make those decisions. So with that said, let's dive right into today's Bitcoin Breakdown, guys. Let's make sure everybody knows that at the end of each one of these videos, we are giving away some added value, some free information, a free ebook, a free training series. So stay to the end. See you inside this week's Bitcoin Breakdown. Okay guys, welcome inside the Cryptocurrency Alliance Bitcoin Breakdown. Today we want to start off by talking about a little bit of XRP for those of you who hold Ripple. <coughs> Excuse me. Those of you Ripple holders out there, SBI launches the XRP trading, supposed to be live on the 20th, something to look forward to. A little bit of controversy around what that actually means. So you guys might want to Google SBI launches XRP trading. Something for you guys to look at. But something I thought was pretty cool. Uh, something I've been following since last December when Ripple announced a bunch of their uh, global payment partnerships. Like American Express being one of them. They kept quiet. A lot of other people uh, have already uh, you know, given their input on how it's went. Santander 1FX Pay said it went well. Controversy on MoneyGram saying they didn't really use it often. Also, MoneyGram saying it didn't save much money. But if you don't use something that often, probably isn't going to save you that much money if it is a mass scale style production. So XRP uh, and um, Amex. The article is X Current is boosting American Express transaction speeds. Basically, what that means, guys, to, to you know make this whole long story short, Amex has been kind of quiet. They finally confirmed the outcome of their test with Ripple's product called X Current. Uh, basically, they've been they've been uh, using this to make global payments transact quicker, guys, uh, to make cross border transactions faster, quicker, smoother. They're already, obviously, they already have their infrastructure. They're just plugging X current into that to make it quicker. So this is more confirmation, you know, guys, that uh, if you're a Ripple holder, X current's working. It's gaining more uh, proof, basically more real life proof that it can solve real life problems and actual live situations. You know, this isn't talk like a lot of these other cryptos out there that, um, you know, are, are saying this is what they're going to do. 
and they haven't actually done anything yet. So I, I like these type of projects. I know there's a lot of in controversy around Ripple and XRP. I've been holding it since about 21 cents. Uh, sold at the top. Been buying it um, on all these dips. Um, you know, we just want to cover a few things here and there, guys, um, on some other tokens, on some other coins, to let you guys know some insight on what we're looking at. So we're going to start doing a couple little updates here and there if we see some nice articles that uh, we believe to be interesting. Not going to dive too much into it, though. Uh, in other news, I thought something was pretty cool. This happened, actually, I think it was Friday um, after we put our video out, so I wanted to cover that as well. Uh, Coinbase announces that they're going to explore adding five new crypto to their platform. Uh, we got XRP, excuse me, not XRP, XLM, Stellar Lumens, okay? Uh, Cardano, BATS, which is Basic Attention Token, Zcash, and ZRX, okay? These are the five tokens they are exploring. Adding, they also, don't forget, guys, added Ethereum Classic um, as, as one of the tokens that they're going to be adding as well. So that will be a total of six. Ethereum Classic is going to be a lot easier to add because it's kind of like adding Ethereum to their platform. But these ones are going to take some exploring. It's going to take some information to... Uh, some additional information to add these assets to Coinbase. So something to look out for, something to keep an eye on. Each one of these tokens received about a 25% spike over the weekend and some after that. So something to keep an eye on, guys, something to look forward to. Um, other than that, guys, let's get into our Bitcoin breakdown. That's the reason we're here. So that's what we're going to go talk about. And this candle's been back and forth. That's why it's hard to read a monthly candle. You kind of go from monthly candle to see where the trend's going. The trend's obviously been going down. So we had red. We had green. We got red. We got green. So back and forth in the monthly. Weekly. Okay. This one has ended. A new one has begun. This weekly candle got all the way down to about 6,100 in that area. I really couldn't break that area. So we're holding in 6,100. Coming up. Possibly, well, most likely going to tap this uh, MA again, around 6,800. See if it can go up and break it. Maybe we're going to come up and tap this MA, around 7,500. Very likely possibility, guys. But we got to read the chart. So let's go down, break it down, maybe the daily chart, and see what we have here. Looks like we're obviously coming to tap this. Could come up and tap this area again. You see we've had this pink area drawn here as kind of a range back and forth um, on a lower chart. But uh, we see this here, 7,800. We said over here, it could possibly come up and touch the red one around 7,500. All these are possibilities, guys, to look out for. We look for that come up and touch of the double uh, of the uh, 200 MA. Um, let's go dive in a little bit deeper so we can see what actually happened. Um, back to our, let's get rid of this, that trade is over. Back to our head and shoulder, guys. I mean, it came down tap the exact area um, for this head and shoulder pattern. Never really broke down through. Like I thought we would get some additional downside if we broke this area here, which we never did. Um, it tried to, but just got rejected and started heading its way up. So we currently have the head and shoulder kind of playing out. As you can see, you know, I, I always say the uh, MAs are like magnets. So if we do break above the eight and the 18 on the cross, look for a tap of the 200. Which happened, we actually had a break of the 200. And if you zoom in a little closer, you will see that we're actually coming down to test the 200 after the break. So if we come down, we get a little tap right here, 6,500 area. And we hold, then we are going to see this head and shoulder play out to the neckline. The neckline is around 6,800. Okay. If we break this area at 6,800, we will see some more upside, some more bullish action. It's the same scenario we were in when we were in this area trading here when we caught this big downside trade. Um, the total downside on this trade, I mean, we didn't catch all this, obviously, but the total downside was about $750, 750 pips. So if we do get some more upside, we will see some 6,800 area being tested again for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, God knows how many times, guys. Okay, so we're going to catch up in this area. A sip of water. We're going to retest that 6800. Right now, it's testing the ever elusive, ever so talked about. Let me see. 6650. 
guys, we talked about this area a lot. It's important. I believe um, it's being tested for a reason because of all of these wicks in here, all of these areas of rejection in the 6650. We can even go back some more, see 6650 here and 6650 here. So we're testing that region now. Then if we get through, since we are above the MA, if we can hold it, if we come down, test and hold, we get a bunch of consolidation in between this MA and this 6650 region. So we're going to get a bunch of back and forth in between here. We might even get some downside. But if this ends up holding in the long run, we will see the next upside to 6850. And then if we break there, we will see a nice little rally up to this area. You know, 7300, 7400. It's going to stop in this consolidation area somewhere. And then we can talk about being bullish, guys. Right now, we got a quick little spike. The head and shoulder is playing out rather nicely, but we got to see what happens with this neckline. We are two levels away from that. Let's get into this 6650. Let's see if we can hold above this MA for the day. Let's see if we can hold above this all the way to around 5 or 6 o'clock. Let's see if we catch some sort of a flag motion where price will come down in here and then maybe take off up in here in the 60, 6850 area, which will be the final area that we need to break just to skyrocket up into this area here, up into the 7,000s, which is where we want to get into. Okay, guys, but remember, the reason we're tracking Bitcoin is because where Bitcoin goes, the rest of the market tends to follow. Um, when Bitcoin falls, the market falls with it. Some fall slower, some fall faster. But when the market goes up, when Bitcoin has a candle like this, um, the rest of the market's going to take off a lot of times a lot faster, uh, a lot of times more rapid. Um, and they'll start to separate themselves from Bitcoin. The Bitcoin dominance sometimes, uh, most of the time, goes down as the market goes up. And when the market comes down, people tend to take their money out of the altcoins, put it back into Bitcoin because they feel it's a safer bet. When the market starts to go up, they want to get their money out of Bitcoin and into altcoins because they can get bigger gains. That is the name of the game, guys. That is why we follow Bitcoin. When I first started trading, um, I couldn't afford Bitcoin. I didn't understand the concept of profit in Bitcoin and everything. So I was buying all the altcoins, never tracking Bitcoin, never knowing where the market was going, never understanding that if I followed this crypto here, I could understand I can get a better chance of winning some trades and knowing when to buy and sell my other coins and tokens on the market. So that's the strategy that I like to use now. As of right now, let's go over the trade that we always track. We hit our stop loss. Remember, guys, this was just a, this was just a quick, short. I mean, short, short, short stop loss. I got in here. I mean, I got out ninety one dollars later. I mean, this was just. Let's see if we can catch four hundred dollars, four hundred more pips, four hundred and fifty more pips by risking a hundred. Okay, that's a one to four ratio. That's an excellent um, profit margin ratio. And we took the chance because we just won a 450 pip trade, which was awesome. Okay, so we lost. We hit our stop loss. We'll get out of that. We'll remove that. That's not something that we recommend you guys doing. But again, that wasn't a real call or a real analysis. That was, hey, let's take a shot. Um, we're all allowed to do that from time to time, especially after being up like we were. Uh, the name of the game is about risk and reward, guys. I measure it day to day, hour by hour. That was a good risk reward ratio. I took the shot. We didn't get the downside as we expected. And now we have some nice upside with the head and shoulder playing out. We're not in a trading zone right now. I would not take anything right now. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's let the market break one of these levels. Um, so we won't really have an analysis today as per as for me telling you guys what we're going to do because there's no moves for us. We're going to start clearing some of this chart out here soon. We're actually going to get a lot of this out. I'll do that after we get you guys off here. But uh, as I said, guys, look for a break of this 6650 area. Um, I want to show you something real quick um, before we get off here. We'll look for a break here and then look for this area here, which is the last area that we'll need to get through. And then we should see some nice upside in the 7,000s. But as I mentioned, guys, over and over again, where, where, um, 
Bitcoin goes, the rest of the market tends to follow. For example, Bitcoin is up right now. Let's look at the rest of the market. So if Bitcoin is up right now, the rest of the market should be up. In the last 24 hours, we have a sea of green. In the last 24 hours, few coins are red. Very, very few coins are red in the last 24 hours. You don't always want to look at the last hour, guys. You want to look at the last 24 hours. Is a lot of times what I try to do. Um, and very, very few coins are red. Because Bitcoin is up. Bitcoin is up. They're all up. Bitcoin is up 3%. And we got a lot of tokens up a lot higher than that. This is why I say, guys, I trade Bitcoin. I, I, I trade the chart of Bitcoin to find out where Bitcoin is going next so I can get bigger gains on my altcoins and know when to trade them. When Bitcoin is looking bullish, I am looking for positions in my altcoins. See, these altcoins have already doubled the profit of Bitcoin because Bitcoin's going up. Some have tripled. You'll see more quadruple the, the, the profitability of Bitcoin, 3% to 12% on BitShares. Just some ideas, just some things to show you guys. For example, we went over XRP, so I'll use that as an example. Um, which is, guys, one of my favorite tokens under a dollar right now. Actually, I think it's under 50 cents right now, so something to look into. Let's look at Bitfinex just for the heck of it. Okay. Doesn't want to work. <laughs> All right, let's try this then. Let's see what this wants to do for us. There we go. And what do you know? Bitcoin is up and Ripple skyrockets. I mean, in the last six hours or four hours, Ripple is up two, two and a half cents, which is huge for Ripple. Nice crypto gains, guys. And again, we're above the MAs. Trading above the MAs. Not the four hour. So look for a tap of this area, guys. Look for a tap of this four hour. We should be reaching 49.50 cents later today. If this price action keeps going, we're always going to see a small retest. You're probably going to see this would come down, turn it to a long wick, and go upwards. So guys, follow Bitcoin. Follow us here at the Cryptocurrency Alliance. Follow our daily webinars, our daily uh, YouTube videos. They're only about 10, 15 minutes long. So join us back here tomorrow for the next Bitcoin breakdown. Boom, guys, what's up? I'm back. Man, we dropped some fire inside that video. A lot of free value, guys. A lot of information. A lot of things playing out from previous videos. More, more uh, input coming up for today's trades, today's analysis. So, guys, I want to thank you for showing up again today. That's all I have for you guys. Um, I do want to mention a couple of things. Um, below, the, below this video, there's going to be a description, guys. Inside the description you are going to see a link, okay? That link is going, going to send you guys to a free ebook, okay? That free ebook is called the Cons Bitcoin, excuse me, the Bitcoin Consumer Guide, okay? It's gonna be all kinds of information in there for you guys. It's a must read for anybody trying to trade the crypto markets today. There's also a training series, a bunch of videos that'll help you guys learn what the blockchain is, what Bitcoin is, how it was created, what it's used for, um, all kinds of useful information that'll get you started, that'll get you going if you're brand new to crypto or you're just learning or you just want some extra information you might not have known before. So right below, guys, you can click that link or simply type into your browser, bitcoinconsumerguide.com forward slash YT, the letters YT as in YouTube. That's bitcoinconsumerguide.com forward slash YT. I am your crypto coach, Dave. Thank you for showing up. I will see you tomorrow on the next Bitcoin breakdown. Now get out of here.